This is a YouTube how-to video on how to install a trailer hitch and wiring on a 2007 Corolla. I think they're the same from 2003 up to 2011, I think. Anyway, I uh, had a good score on a hidden hitch, trailer hitch, that I found at a yard sale for 40 bucks yesterday. Put it on, there are four pre-drilled bolt holes underneath the, uh, underneath the car. There are welded nuts that are already on the frame. And unfortunately, this car is already seven years old and those nuts had never had a bolt through them and they were heavily corroded. They are M12 by 1.25 threads per inch, which is a very unusual fine thread. And I have a great tap and die set made by Mastercraft that has almost every other tap that you can think of, but not M12 by 1.25. Anyway, so what I did was I cleaned them out the best I could and used a wire brush and got in there and spun it around, cleaned them out, but I still had to be extremely careful threading them to make sure it wasn't they weren't cross-threading. If in doubt, and you do not want to cross-thread those welded nuts on your frame, if in doubt, you should go to the hardware store and buy an M12 by 1.25 tap. That's for a Toyota Corolla. Your, your vehicle may differ in the thread. So four bolts, mounted the hitch, and the hitch is there. This, uh, this, it, it, there are lots of videos on how to mount the hitches. Um, I, I found some YouTube videos that talk about how to do the wiring, but they only talk about how to do the wiring for a kit that has all the connectors on it. So what I bought, uh, of course I couldn't get that kit at my Canadian Tire, uh, so I bought a Reese Tow Power Converter Model 78013. It's a generic uh, converter kit, and um, it is shown right here. There it is right there. On one side, it has the right turn, stop, left turn, tail, light, and ground. These go to the car wiring. And you need a converter kit for vehicles, newer vehicles that have a separate brake and tail light. Older vehicles, like say 2000 and older, had a common light bulb for a common wiring for signal and, um, and brake. But newer ones, you need a converter box. It converts from these five wires from the vehicle up to four wires to your trailer. So the other YouTube videos I have seen is they talk about how to get this off. And I'll just quickly show you. This is the plastic cover. There are these little clips that hold it in place. And they're in three locations, one, two, three. And they were in all the way. So I, I slid a standard screwdriver behind it, lifted it like that. And as soon as I could lift it out a little bit, I put these pliers behind it like this and pulled them out. And I know that looks pretty elementary, but if you do it my way, you won't break them. But if you just pry them with a screwdriver, you'll probably break the heads off. So that's this piece. Get that out of the way. And then those same types of clips are on the carpet here and here. So I took them out as well. And then you get the carpet back. Now, I'll show you the wiring that, uh, that came with my vehicle and the colors. Uh, that's what I had to figure out with the voltmeter and it was not complex, but if you just want to take my word for it, feel free, if you've got a 2007 Corolla and your wiring looks to be the same as mine, then chances are uh, you've got it right. So from the converter box, the right turn is the green wire that leaves the converter box and it hooks right up here. So there's the trunk, comes along like this, the main wire harness to the back end. It hooks on the green with yellow wire. So the green wire from the converter box, green with yellow wire in the main wiring harness. Okay, next is the stop wire, the red wire that leaves the converter box. And it goes to, I took this light out, took the assembly out to make it easier. It came out with three nuts like that. I assume they're 10 mil, but I used a pair of pliers to take them out. I assume 10 mil. One, two, three nuts on the outside, and then this whole assembly comes out. I did it just to make it easier to get at. That red wire goes in here to the green wire with white stripe. Green with white stripe. Next is the yellow wire leaving the converter box. That's the left turn yellow wire. It goes right here to the green with black stripe. Green with black stripe. That's the yellow one. Next is the tail light that leaves the converter box. It is brown with a white stripe. That brown with a white stripe went right here to the green wire, the green wire. So brown with white stripe from the converter box, green to the car. And then the white wire leaving the converter box is the ground. 
and you have to drill a hole or I did anyway I drilled a hole right there and put a metal screw in through the pre terminal wire here and that's the ground um, that's actually the reason why I took this out in the first place because I didn't want to drill into this so I took it out and then I could drill my hole and uh, now I've got the screw that sticks out there I'm actually gonna have to cut it off from the inside so it doesn't interfere with this so now that I have all those wires hooked up I have a little tester this thing and it lights up tail left turn right turn and I'm gonna put that right there in the shade my handy photographer can film those so I'm gonna put the brake lights on and you should see both the right turn and the left turn left turn light up Yep. Yeah. Now I've got my key on and my left signal. You should see one of the blinking there. Okay? Yep. Now I'm going to turn put the brake on as well as the left signal. I should see the right light on solid and the left one flashing. Mm-hmm. And then I've switched signals over to the passenger side, the right side, so I should see the right signal on flashing and the left signal solid. Do I see that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, and now I turned all the signals off and I turned my running lights on. Yep. So that's how you install and check the wiring for a 2007 Toyota Corolla. And uh, if you have a different vehicle, everything I told you is identical, except you will need to probe out using a voltmeter the wiring on your wire harness as it plugs into these uh, light fixture sockets and just make sure that you understand what is the right turn, the left turn, the brake, and uh, the running lights. And of course ground is the same, drill it on the frame. Good luck with your project and uh, do it yourself.